Hello, it's Leanne Spencer of Body Shop Performance. This is the first video I've shot for Thrive in Five this year, so Happy New Year, although it's a little late in the day to say so. I hope you had a great Christmas and a relaxing time off. So I want to pick up and elaborate a little bit on a point I made in last week's post about Blue Monday. And it was about the idea of staring into a dog's eyes to get oxytocin, the bonding and connecting hormone. Well, there are other ways that you can get this that I wanted to talk through very briefly. One of them, is through human contact, whether it be eye contact, but also touch, for example, massage, and also hugging. Now, I know that we need to be careful who we go up and hug these days, and you need to ask permission first, and that advice is always to be dispensed in a socially appropriate way. But if somebody is willing to share a hug with you, and in fact, studies have shown that even if that somebody is a stranger, if you hug for 20 seconds or longer, which is longer than feels comfortable, you will both get a big release of oxytocin. So I think that's, that's really interesting. Um, now, of course, be careful who that is, but if you need a little bit of a pick-me-up, find a loved one and give them a long hug, uh, or seek out massage or some other form of appropriate contact, because that helps to dispense with lots and lots of oxytocin. It's a very, very powerful thing that makes us feel part of a tribe. And I think if you're looking for that connection, if you're looking for that human reassurance, it's a great thing to pursue. Now, there are other ways that you can get oxytocin as well. So I suggest jump onto either our blog, bodyshopperformance.com, and go into the resources or blog, and then, sorry, the blog section, and look for oxytocin. Alternatively, run a Google and explore the many ways that you can get more bonding and connection into your life. That's it from me. I'll talk to you next week.